Hey everybody, and I just woke up, and let's see what Mikey and his family are doing. Hey Mikey, how you doing? Oh, good morning, JJ. We just woke up and we're gonna eat breakfast. There's a whole family here. Yeah, and my family's here too, so everything's pretty good. Oh, and Mikey, let's listen to the radio and see what the news is today. I'm very interested. Yeah, let's hear it, turn it on. Dear residents of the city, this is an emergency alert. Pay attention to this, because a huge creature will soon appear in the city at night. It is not yet known, but it is predicted that it will appear. Oh, what's the news? What creature? Oh my god, what are we gonna do now, JJ? I say we take our families with us and build a bunker for each family. How about that? It's a very good idea, so let's go. Yeah, I'm gonna build my bunker here for my family, then build it on the other side. You ready, Mikey? Yeah, I'm all set, so I'm gonna start building. Yeah, good luck with that. I'll build mine. See you at the end, Mikey. Yeah, I hope so. So, guys, I'm gonna start building my bunker. And I'm gonna build my bunker out of diamonds. Because it's gonna represent my rich family and me. So let's build it out of diamond. And let's make it rich on the inside. Let's dive deeper into the vision of your diamond bunker. Imagine the exterior shimmering under the sunlight. Each facet of the diamond walls reflecting the brilliance of the surrounding landscape. The entrance would be grand with solid gold doors adorned with intricate engravings depicting scenes of opulence and prosperity. Upon stepping inside, guests would be greeted by a foyer fit for royalty. With a grand staircase spiraling upward, its banisters encrusted with rare gemstones. The walls would be adorned with murals crafted by renowned artists, showcasing scenes of wealth and luxury throughout history. Moving further into the bunker, one would discover a series of interconnected rooms, each more extravagant than the last. The dining hall would feature a long, polished mahogany table surrounded by velvet-clad chairs with crystal chandeliers hanging overhead, casting a warm glow over lavish feasts fit for kings and queens. The entertainment wing would boast a private cinema outfitted with the latest technology, a gaming area with custom-built arcade cabinets, and a luxurious lounge for socializing and relaxation. Every corner would exude wealth and sophistication, from the plush carpets to the hand-carved furnishings. Of course, no diamond bunker would be complete without a secure vault to safeguard your most valuable possessions. This vault would be reinforced with layers of reinforced steel and equipped with advanced biometric scanners, ensuring that only those with authorized access could enter. But beyond the extravagance, your diamond bunker would also prioritize comfort and sustainability. Solar panels would line the roof, providing renewable energy to power the bunker, while advanced filtration systems would ensure a constant supply of fresh air and water. In times of crisis, your diamond bunker would serve as a sanctuary, a bastion of luxury and security amidst chaos. But even in times of peace, it would stand as a testament to your family's wealth, power, and unyielding commitment to living life to the fullest. As I approach the final stages of building my diamond bunker, excitement intertwines with a hint of concern. While my creation symbolizes opulence and luxury, I can't shake the uncertainty about what Mikey's family is building. Despite this, I remind myself that true fulfillment comes from realizing my vision, not from comparisons. As the finishing touches are applied, I'm grateful for the opportunity to turn my dreams into reality, one diamond at a time. As the interior of our diamond bunker nears completion, the anticipation mounts with each passing day. With every detail meticulously crafted to exude opulence and luxury, the final step in our journey is the installation of the safe. This safe, the fortress within our fortress, will safeguard our most precious possessions with unparalleled security. Constructed with the latest technology and reinforced with layers of impenetrable steel, it stands as the ultimate symbol of protection for our family's treasures. As the final piece of the puzzle falls into place, I can't help but feel a sense of satisfaction and relief. Our diamond bunker is more than just a shelter. Well, we're almost done, so let's go to Mikey's. We'll see what he's built and finally get ready for the night for this unknown creature. What kind of creature would that be? I'm so curious. So let's wait for the night and go to Mikey's. Here we are at his bunker. Oh, it's all built out of dirt. Why did Mikey do that? I'm very curious. 
The interior of Mikey's bunker is surprisingly cozy and inviting. Simple furnishings and rustic- Oh, here's Mikey! Oh, hello Mikey again! How are you doing? I see you built a huge bunker for your family! Yeah, hi JJ! And I'm so happy with this bunker, because I love it so much I feel like I can stay here! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, it's a nice bunker, and I like it too! Do you want to see my bunker for my family? Yeah, let's go to your bunker! Let's see what's going on in there! Ha <laughs> ha You'll definitely be shocked to see my diamond bunker, ha <laughs> ha! As you step into my diamond bunker, I'm delighted to see the wonder and awe in your eyes. The grandeur of the entrance, with its solid gold doors and sparkling diamond walls, is just a glimpse of the luxury that awaits inside. As we venture further, you're greeted by the sight of opulence at every turn. The lavish furnishings, adorned with jewels and draped in velvet. Yes it is, so let's wait for the night when this unknown creature appears. Yeah, I can't wait for him to get here. Here I stand with my family, preparing for a feast with an unknown creature. Let's put on all the best clothes I have and march towards the unknown creature with the hope that it won't destroy the whole village. Gathered with my family, we dress in our finest attire for a feast with a mysterious creature. With hopeful hearts and a hint of fear, we march towards its lair, legends of its power swirling in our minds. There's the creature! Oh no! It's coming towards us through the village! So let's alert Mikey to it! Mikey, Mikey, get up now! There's a monster coming! I turned to my friend Mikey, rallying him to action. Mikey, we need your help! Yeah, I'm here. I'm 100% ready, and I'm wearing my best clothes. Let's go fight this monster! With determination blazing in our eyes, we heed Mikey's call to action. Together, we charge towards the monstrous threat ready to face it head-on and protect our village from destruction. As we engage in battle, each strike fueled by courage and resolve, we push the creature back, driving it away from our home. And when the dust settles, we stand victorious, knowing that our bravery has saved the day. But our watchful vigilance remains, ready to defend our village from any future dangers that may arise. Yes, of course! Together we will definitely defeat the power of this monster and be the reason to bring peace to this city. So let's go save the city! Hooray! We finally defeated him and brought peace to this town. Now we are definitely the heroes of this town. Mikey, Yahoo! Not just the city! We're now heroes of the whole country! Haha! <laughs> we defeated such a huge monster together! Yay! And look at the clouds! The black clouds are gone! Now that we've defeated this monster, we've got some really nice weather. Yes, and I think it's time to say goodbye to the viewers. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, put likes. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh no, Mikey, what is it? There's so many zombies. We gotta get out of here fast. What escape? There's no escape. We have to eliminate all the zombies. No, there's so many of them. How are we gonna eliminate them all in one fell swoop? I don't know, but I believe we can do it. Let's go! Absolutely! Sometimes, uncertainty can be daunting, but it's also an opportunity for growth and discovery. Despite the unknowns, I have faith in our abilities and our capacity to overcome obstacles. Yeah! We're almost through them! Let's go! They're almost gone! Those bastards! We fought tooth and nail, and now victory is within our grasp! Let's keep pushing forward with all our might until we've eradicated every last one of those pesky zombies. Yeah, and I think that's it. I think there's gonna be another wave of zombies after this one, so I think we should take cover, Mikey. Absolutely, I'm with you on that one. JJ, see that tree? I think there's something in there. Let's go look. Oh ho, there's a bunker. It says it's an extra bunker. I think that's what we're looking for because we were looking for shelter from a possible wave. So let's jump. Let's go, let's jump. Uh. But it's empty. I think it was just left here. Just to hide and get out and break everything in our way. Hmm, but I don't think that's our case. Let's build a kingdom under the bunker. Ha uh ha, -huh, that'd be fun. Yeah, I agree. Especially since building a kingdom in a bunker I think will help people in the future. Come on, I agree with you. Let's build it, let's go. Mikey, what do you think? Building a kingdom is cool, especially under a bunker. Ha uh ha. -huh. You know, I've never really thought about it like that before. But now that you mention it, there's something kind of epic about the idea, isn't there? I mean, sure, it's not your typical fairy tale castle, 
but there's a certain rugged charm to the notion of carving out our own little kingdom beneath the earth. And hey, if it means we can provide safety and security for ourselves and others in the midst of all this chaos, then count me in. Plus, who wouldn't want to be the king of their own underground domain, right? Haha, -ha. let's do this. Absolutely. Building a kingdom underground sounds like an adventure of epic proportions. Just imagine the possibilities. Fortified walls, secret passages, and a community thriving in the depths. It's a chance to create something truly unique and resilient. A haven that can withstand whatever challenges come our way. Plus, the idea of being rulers of our own subterranean realm has a certain appeal, don't you think? Let's embrace the challenge and make our bunker kingdom a reality. Haha. <laughs> Yes, very well said. In the meantime, we've already spruced up half the kingdom. And now we're building land around the building so we can hatch some plants, ha ha! And now, as we set our sights on expanding the land around the building to create space for our garden, we're venturing into an exciting new phase of our journey. The thought of cultivating a thriving oasis beneath the Earth's surface fills me with anticipation and excitement. It's not just about planting seeds, it's about nurturing a sense of renewal and resilience in our underground refuge. Yeah, I'd like that too, but not in a bunker. And don't forget, we're doing this against zombies. And I think we can fit some people in here, right, JJ? While the idea of creating a sanctuary in a bunker is intriguing, I agree that it might not be the most ideal setting. And you're right, amidst the ongoing zombie threat, safety is paramount. However, if we can fortify our underground refuge effectively, we might indeed be able to accommodate some additional survivors. It's all about finding the right balance between security and sustainability. Let's keep brainstorming and strategizing to ensure that we can offer refuge to as many people as possible while keeping everyone safe from the undead menace. Sure, I think it'll hold the entire town, haha. <laughs> In the meantime, Let's keep building our kingdom from the zombies. Our underground fortress has the potential to become a haven for the entire town. With our ongoing efforts to fortify and expand, we're not only creating a safe refuge from the zombies, but also laying- And by the way, as we speak, we are completely finished with our construction. Ha ha, it went so smooth and cool. I'm so happy about it, yay. Yeah, I'm filling up the trunk with shells now, so we can start something else. Ha! Phew. It's our time, Mikey. I think we should turn on the radio before we go outside. Whether there's a zombie wave or not. Yeah, come on, turn it up fast. Ladies and gentlemen, it's national radio. We've got like a fifth zombie wave in town, so brace yourselves and stay home. No! The fifth wave of zombies is outside, so let's take everything we have in the chest, all the armor gear, etc., and go out and fight those zombie bastards. Because we have to save the city. Who else but us, huh? Mikey? Yeah, I totally agree with you. Come on, dump me all the armor and gear you got and let's get out there fast. Because right now, those zombies could swarm the whole town. All right, let's go outside quick. Oh no, there's so many of them. How are we all gonna handle them? There's so many of them. Let's work together. We can beat them, so let's go. Yeah, I'm already investing in a hundred. You, you. I'm so tired, but we have to keep going. We're saving the city. If we don't save it, who will? So let's go. Our determination and perseverance are the keys to saving the city from the zombie menace. Even when exhaustion sets in, we must press on, knowing that our efforts are crucial in protecting our community. Together, we're the heroes this city needs, and we won't rest until the threat is eradicated. Let's rally our strength and continue the fight, knowing that our actions today will secure a better tomorrow for all. Absolutely. It's incredible to see the dedication and resilience you bring to our mission. Your tireless efforts in investing in the city's defense are truly commendable. Despite the fatigue, your unwavering commitment to saving our community from the zombie threat is inspiring. Together we stand as the beacon of hope in these dark times. Let's push forward with renewed determination, knowing that our perseverance will lead to the salvation of our city. We're in this together, and together, we will emerge victorious. Investing in our city's defense feels like a never-ending battle sometimes, but we must remain steadfast in our commitment. 
every effort we make brings us one step closer to securing a brighter future for ourselves and future generations. Let's keep pushing forward, knowing that our sacrifices today will pave the way for a safer tomorrow. Come on, Mikey, let's go. We almost got them. Don't fold your arms, absolutely. It's no time to rest on our laurels. We're so close to achieving our goal of defeating the zombies and- And JJ, we have very few zombies left, so we're good to go. Yay! That's it. That was the last zombie. We killed them all. Now we're gonna be the heroes of our town, huh, Mikey? Yeah, not just the city, but the country, I think. But look at the clouds. They're dark and they're not dropping a millimeter. After what you said, it's all fixed now. We've got white clouds and bright sunshine. So let's go. Let's celebrate. How are we gonna celebrate? Let's have a huge cake at our house to celebrate. I think that'd be really cool. Don't you, Mikey? Yeah, let's do it. I'm in. And by the way, today was a really cool day. Don't you agree, Mikey? Yeah, awesome in the form of unforgettable. Let's go celebrate. Let's say goodbye to our viewers. Subscribe to the channel. Like it. Like it. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. <laughs>